Option a ka president Zuma ba olobzela banga kona ni ba chafse ki nkwao na nguna ba yoweri nda kombela mini hamela resimura 133 rendwe nrami na lir ar randa imana wa yena na temba arteba ingweru na ishizulu na ishikosa mtarito loko kwa ere irisungu 133 rendwe nrami ham Obituary of the late Comrade Om Collins Chabani, hero of heroes, a combatant for life, a patriot to the end, a people's person, a gentle giant and a grounded leader who worked with a sense of quiet determination. It was the noble cause of striving for a better future for all the people of South Africa that served as a backdrop to the life of Minister Collins Chabani. His early life, Om Collins Chabani was born on 15 April 1960 in the village of Shikundu at Malamulele in Lipompo, then known as the Northern Transvaal. He is the seventh born child of the late Mr. Etienne and Mrs. Elizabeth Chabani. He started schooling at Chikundu Primary School from 1966 to 1972. When he obtained the then standard six, he proceeded to Chikundu Secondary School where he passed the junior certificate in 1975. In 1976, he proceeded to Lemana High School when he was expelled, where he was expelled as he was regarded as the instigator of the riots. He matriculated from Shingwezi High School in 1976. In December 1979, he was part of the TEFLOP contingent at the formation of the Azanian Student Organization. His works with Mkontowe Sizwe, known as MK. He joined the ANC underground at a very young age. In May 1980, he left the country to undergo military training with MK where he used the non girl Tom Chauke. Together with other MK members, he traveled to Angola via Switzerland and Mozambique. The group received special training at Funda Camp in Angola, and while there, Collins Chabani was section commissar. He infiltrated into South Africa in 1981, and completed numerous successful political military operations between 1991 and 1994. He was MK area commander for the far north and northeastern part of the then Northern Transvaal. Amongst others, he established MK's Bambata unit, which operated in the Zanin, Guiani, and Malamlele area. While underground in 1984, he was arrested by the apartheid security police and placed in solitary confinement for one year. Despite protracted and brutal interrogation at the hands of the evil racist police, he did not reveal any information to incriminate any of his comrades. He was the only accused in his terrorism trial. In 1985, he was sentenced in the Tsanin Regional Circuit Court to nine years imprisonment on Rubin Island. While in prison on Rubin Island, he served in the ANC's underground intelligence network and was the custodian of the shortwave radio that had been smuggled into the prison to gather and disseminate news for the prisoners. He was also responsible for acquiring and hiding political reading material as well as the ANC's political programs in prison. Education. He applied to the then University of Natal to study med medicine, but was required to register for a Bachelor of Science degree first at the University of the North in 1979. A year later, he abandoned his studies and went to exile. During his time in prison, he obtained a diploma 
in electrical engineering from the then Technicon South Africa. He could not complete the diploma in aircraft maintenance because he could not undergo practical training as a result of his incarceration. Chabani also holds a diploma in leadership and management from the University of Lipopo Graduate School of Management and a diploma in management from Esami Africa Business School in Arusha, Tanzania. He served as a chancellor of Raman Ombula Heni Training College in the Bembe District. His role in the ANC. In 1990, after the unbanning of the ANC and his subsequent release, Chabani was appointed as the first office administrator for the then Northern Transvaal region. He established the ANC office and in December 1990 was elected as secretary of the ANC in the region with a major task of re-establishing ANC branches. At the time, the chairperson of the ANC in the Northern Transvaal was Joel Nechitenze, who was also known as Peter Maibui, who was later then succeeded by Mwako Ramashodi. Chabani was elected as provincial secretary and opposed six times. During this period, he was involved in navigating on behalf of the ANC complex political processes with the homeland governments of Libua, Gazankulu, and Venda. During his time as the ANC's provincial secretary, he established strong ANC structures, resulting in the ANC winning Lipombo by 92% in 1994. He became a member of the ANC's National Executive Committee in 1990, where he served until his untimely passing. Since the 52nd National Conference in 2007, he had been a member of the ANC's National Working Committee and served in various NEC subcommittees, such as international relations, legislature and governance, and the National Disciplinary Committee. He was an ANC deployee assisting with the resolution of the conflict in Sudan. National Parliament role. In 1994, Chabani became a member of parliament and served in the following committees. The Constitutional and Management Committee, Joint Standing Committee on Defense and Intelligence, the Standing Committee of Finance and Minerals and Energy Affairs. He was also a member of the Senate and served as an ANC constitutional negotiator. Provincial government role. In 1997, he was appointed member of the executive council in the Northern Province. Office of the Premier, Office of the Premier. In 1998, he was appointed MEC for Public Works and leader of government business in the legislature. Chabani established the Provincial Roads Agency, which was the first institution of this kind in South Africa. He championed the training of unemployed people under the Gundola Shoe Construction Program, which paved the way for the current expanded public works programs. In 2005, he was appointed as MEC for Economic Development, Environment, and Tourism. During his tenure, he embarked on an international awareness program on economic opportunities in trade and investment in the tourism, mining, and agribusiness sectors with special emphasis on doing business with South African development community and Africa broadly, as well as with the international business community. National government role. In 2009, he was appointed as the minister in the presidency responsible for monitoring and evaluation. In this position, he was responsible for overseeing the implementation of the initial 12 outcomes that address the main strategic priorities of our fourth democratic government. 
He was also responsible for the government communications and information systems. Minister Collins Chabani was chair of the Interministerial Committee on State Funerals. In this capacity, he led the team that was responsible for the funeral arrangements of, former pres of the late former President Nelson Rolihlahla Mandela, a task he effectively executed. In 2014, he was appointed as the Minister for Public Service and Administration, a position which he occupied until his untimely death. Music and culture. Comrade Animal, as he was fondly known, was involved in poetry and music. Whistle in Matola, Mozambique, he actively participated in the Roots Poetry Group, which lifted the morale of combatants. On Rubin Island, Chabani also developed a keen passion for music, learning music theory and how to play the harmonica. He played with few of the music bands on the island. He became an accomplished musician, establishing the Mbira Group with his best mentor, Basil Magombe. His band was named The Movement. The band released four CDs, Saka versus Shikundu, Shai Shai, Duma, and Mbira Instrumental. He won several awards, amongst others, the Samro and Special Music Award from SABC in 2010 and 2012, respectively. Samro also compiled the best of movement in his honor. Chabani pioneered the establishment of the Marula Cultural Festival, which has become an annual event in Lipombo, on charity activities. He founded the Shakani Foundation in 2009, which has been organizing two golf days every year since 2010 to raise funds for the following charities, the peace and of my educational mind, which supports children between ages of 12 and 16 with bursaries and books, tutoring, computer skills, and entrepreneurial skills develop, entrepreneurship development. The South African Institute for Depression and Anxiety, which raises awareness about depression and anxiety, the main causes of teenage society. The Kensai Special School, which is the only school in Palabora for children with disabilities and special needs, and the Evangelical Presbyterian Church. In addition, the foundation funds an annual visit to the cost of 20 underprivileged children, family and community life. The love relationship between Collins and Mavis survived exile, prison, ANC activism, and the rigorous of government work. They married in 1995 and have two children. As a member of the Chabani Minga royal family, he played a unifying role. He had organized that the royal family celebrate the Minga Day in April of this year. Minister Chabani was a member of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church from his childhood. He was a member of the Shikundu Parish and also active for in Mamilodi, White Whistle, and Pretoria. He contribution, his contributions included, amongst others, sharing knowledge on administration, fundraising, and management for the church. He joined the Men's Guild in 2006. Despite his busy schedule, he regularly attended its conferences and other events. Minister Chabani is survived by his wife, Mavis Kensani Chabani, and two children, his son, Matimba, and daughter, Zakani, his mother, Elizabeth, and 10 siblings whose names have been listed. From his father's second wife, his Johanna, he's also survived by 11 siblings whose names have also been listed. Rest in peace, Om Collins Chabani. Rest in peace, Malulege. Fambakatle Malulege. Chabani Waminga, Nkori, Damani, Shimambani, Mashakazi, Malenga, Gunyole, Shishangashile, Mwanati, Muchopi, 
chinyela babeni matoto ya tuhuku before i die it has been my wish and still is my wish that whatever happens between me and africa i shall not be through coward it, it shall not be through cowardice or should i say betrayal of my fatherland that's a quote from Ingwapili Madingwan. A political strategist extraordinaire, a true internationalist commissar, and a humble servant of the people to the end. Famba Kathle Mungwanat. Inko.